All right, here we go. Um, I've got the plans here, right? Um, the, the mini cedar chest, if you can see it. And the, uh, the old projects, starting from the first one, our plaque that we did, our uh, cutting board was the second project. Then we went to the uh, lap desk next. Notice I've got a plan for each one and a plan of procedure to help you uh, make a quality project. And now we're talking about the mini cedar chest, okay? Mini cedar chest has multiple plans because it's got quite a few parts. And it's got a couple pages of uh, plan of procedure. When you are on the second page, clear down to uh, the very bottom, yours is done, okay? It'll have the lid on it, it'll have the hinges, it'll have three coats of finish, ready for you to take it home. All right, so today I'm starting the first panel on this mini cedar chest, which by the way is right here, okay? The first thing you wanna do is uh, the biggest panel first. So we've got a couple 20 by 20, uh, 20 uh, inches long, 13 inches deep. So the top and bottom are our biggest panels. That's what we would start with, right? Coming over here to our, our boards. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see it, guys. But I have got a couple boards here. Okay. I've got a piece of oak. And if you remember, the first thing we want to do is um, calculate the board feet, okay? Um, so it's quantity times thickness times width times length. I've got that written on the board. It, quantity's one, thickness is one. The width was 10 inches and the length was 97. We divide that by 144 to get our board feet. So this board right here was uh, six and three quarters board feet, okay? This one's quite a bit smaller, isn't it? Quantity times thickness times width times length, one times one times 5.5 is the width, the length was 100. Multiply that out, divide it by 144, and we get our board feet, 3.82 board feet. So that should be enough to make our top and maybe even start the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna take it over to the first machine, the miter saw we talked about last week. And we're gonna cut this thing into our lengths, okay? I'm gonna set you guys up over here. Let's get this done real quick. All right, so if you remember, we uh, have to have an extra inch in length, right? Um, because we have to square our panel and cut it to size. So we wanna make our panel a little bit bigger than what the plan said. The plan said 13 by 20. So I'm gonna lay this thing out and uh, I'm gonna go 21 inches. Keep breaking my chalk. 21, I'm gonna need several pieces, okay? I need 13 inches this way. Well, that's less than six, so I'm gonna need three pieces, right? So 21 again. All right, we are ready to cut with the radial arm saw. I'm gonna set it up by um, pulling my pin, turning my light on, and unlocking it in the back like we talked about last week. Gonna make my first cut, tight against the fence, finger six inches. I line it up first with the shadow from the light and I make my cut. Down and off. Unless it's a really wide board, we may have to come out. There's cut number one. Next piece at 21 inches. Okay, we leave it down until the blade stops. Gonna take care of my scrap, throw it in the scrap box. Next piece. Right. 
You guys wish you were here making your cedar chest, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I do too. We could be having so much fun. All right. So I've got enough material here, three boards, to make my top panel. Okay. We talked about uh, you want to make the uh, the biggest panels first. All right. So here we go on the table saw, guys. These are wider than four inches. If you remember, we've talked about that. If it's wider than four inches, it can warp on you in the direction of the the growth rings. So we always rip it to something smaller than four. So being this is five and a half, I'm going to go half of that, which would be two and three quarters, would be pretty close to halfway. Set up my machine here at two and three quarters. That should do it. And I'm ready to rip. Can't see the... Uh, the groove in the table saw so i have to use my push sticks here they are all right got to check my blade height this uh cedar is a little bit thicker than some of our other wood i'm going to raise that just a little bit we talked about the blade can be a quarter inch um, taller than your wood is thick all right double checking yep that looks about halfway Should be two and a half, would be half a five. Yep. Go, that should work. All right. And guys, you might see a little smoke. Um, I need to change my blade. I've got them on order. They're coming. Okay, so here we go. Guard down, push sticks, and we turn it on down here. Straightest edge against the fence. Push them until they drop. Left push stick against uh, in front of the guard. And it stays there, keeping my piece down. And the right push stick drives it through. Push it till it drops. Last one. Push sticks allow me to keep my fingers six inches from the blade. Okay, that's done. Now we are ready for the joiner, right? We have to uh, joint our pieces to make our panel. I haven't shown you guys the joiner yet this year. Okay, so bring our wood over. Let's talk a bit about the joiner. All right, and then we'll probably end it for today and I'll joint these pieces for tomorrow. So, on the joiner, on off button right here, okay? Let's go ahead and turn it on, let you see what it sounds like or hear what it sounds like. Push the green button. Red button to stop it. Okay? This machine, if you remember, has a helical blade. As soon as it stops, I'll show you. Yep, so a helical blade, one inch by one inch knives. I haven't counted them on this machine, but over on the uh, planer, we got 250 of those little blades, okay? This one's smaller, much less, but uh, we can rotate them and keep them sharp that way. All right, if you remember on the joiner, if your piece, is shorter than uh, less wide than the fence is tall we have to use our push sticks if it's a big tall piece taller than the fence we can use our hands left hand palm is into the fence to keep it tight on the fence and the right hand is palm down and it pushes it through all this machine does is give us a perfectly straight edge Sometimes it takes more than one pass if uh, we've got a long board, okay? So to demonstrate a wide board, I'll go ahead and turn it on. 
I don't have my dust collection system on because I'm not doing much work and I want you guys to be able to hear me. Okay, so here we go. Turn it on. It's that simple. I've noticed that it's sticking a little bit, so I need to wax my table. I need to wax it so it uh, um, glides a little better. Small piece, okay? We have to use the push sticks. It's, the piece is shorter than the fence is tall in its width, so we have to use the push sticks. Front push stick with the left hand is like this. Curl our fingers. We're pushing in and down, and this one pushes it through, okay? I've got it set up for 90 degrees, and we've got it set up for a 16th inch, if you can see that on our depth uh, gauge, okay? Um, if you guys notice that this, if you see it's not cut 90, if there's a problem, I do the adjustment on this machine. You guys shouldn't have to adjust it at all. Not for the depth of cut, not for 90 degrees. It is what it is. It's set up to cut a straight edge. So here we go with push sticks. If you've got a bunch of pieces, I've got a cart here for you to put them on. 